Last week, T-Mobile started selling the ultra-low-cost Nokia Lumia 635. Let's take a quick look. Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here, Windows Phone Central, and look at the tin we have here. That is a Cortana lunchbox sent to us by Microsoft. Uh, unfortunately, you can't get one of these, but we have one here because on the inside, we have a Nokia Lumia 635, which is the new budget phone for T-Mobile here in the United States. Of course, you can pick up a 635 elsewhere in the world as well, but this is now available for those of you in the US if you want to pick one up. And it's a pretty nice device. Uh, you know, it is the replacement for the 521, which I actually do have here, although my battery is not charged up. But you can basically see, you know, the continuation of these devices. Now, uh, you can already maybe see a difference here, and I could probably do this even more. I turn this display off. Uh, you see that difference there with the screen? So both are technically black, but that one is way blacker, right? Uh, that has to do with the clear black display. So this has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and clear black, which is basically a layer polarizer and takes out the light. This one does not have that. And you can really see that difference when the display is off. Of course, when the display is on, it helps even more as it basically makes the colors a little bit nicer and brighter and helps with outdoor readability as well. So in that sense, the 635 is sort of a nice upgrade from the 521. Otherwise, you're looking at a quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor, which is obviously a big update from the previous dual core. Now, this is also running Windows Phone 8.1, so there's a little bit of trade-off there. I will say the quad core is faster, but uh, with the 8.1 operating system, you know, it it's kind of balances off. This isn't a particularly speedy phone. Although I don't think anyone's going to really complain when you're using it as your daily device. It's only when you compare it to like say the high-end Lumias do you notice it. Going around to the back here, you have a 5 megapixel camera. So that hasn't technically been updated in spec wise, but it is an improved camera than from you know the 521 and other uh, low cost uh, Lumia devices in the past. So don't feel like you're getting robbed there. It's actually a pretty sharp camera. I actually kind of like it, but obviously there's no flash there, right? It's just a straight camera. In fact, uh, going to the front here, there's also no front facing camera. And this device actually forfeits a lot of stuff. Uh, it has no physical buttons here on the front. So it just has capacitive buttons, which is why it has a sort of weird resolution of 854 by 480. It's still technically 800 by 480, but that extra 54 pixels is for those buttons down there, which you can actually sort of uh, customize the colors. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, going around to the side though, and you have your power button and volume rocker. So uh, really nice layout, you know, familiar design of their uh, same buttons, basically the 930, except they're, uh, I don't think they're, they're not metal. They're like a polycarbonate plastic. Uh, but going down here where we'd usually find a camera button and there is none. And so this device does not have a camera button either. So they've really gotten rid of quite a lot of things. Bottom here, micro USB chargers. So that's where you do charge everything. Coming to the top, of course, you do have a headphone jack. So they didn't get rid of that, thankfully. Um, and then on the front there, you get that nice clear black Gorilla Glass 3 display. And the display is, like I said, it's a big update from the 520 series, in my opinion. And so it's a really good really good display, uh, at least for this price range of device you're getting at. Now, this phone is a 635, and I actually have a 630 here as well. Uh, there's really no differences between these devices in terms of looks and features, except for one, which is a 630 tends to be a dual SIM device. You can see I actually have uh, dual things right there. And this one is a single uh, SIM device, but the 635 also has uh, LTE on board for 4G, and so that's a big deal when you're on T-Mobile in the United States. Now, unfortunately, where I am, I do not have very good reception for T-Mobile, so you'll see I actually don't really, I have a few bars there, but overall, it's a little shaky where I am. The other cool thing about T-Mobile, of course, is they have Wi-Fi calling, so you can see that button there. Now, mine's disabled. Um, this has to do with, I can't even get initial reception to enable it. Uh, but basically the idea here is it can route your phone calls through your Wi-Fi connection. And that's a really big deal, uh, unless you can't get any connection whatsoever. Um, I'll be fooling around with that. But I've used this in the past, and I think it's a big selling point for T-Mobile people. Because if you're in an area of poor reception, it can really, really help out, as it gives really good quality, actually. Other than that, though, you have your basic apps here. So this is the default layout if you... Uh, first turn on the device. It even comes with this uh, 
interesting game, that hill climbing game. So it's kind of interesting that they do that. You have app social, your battery saver, calendar, data sense. Not too much is packed on here. Now it is an eight gig device. So you only have probably about four gigs of actual storage, but it can take a micro SD. And that's important on Windows Phone 8.1 because you can put a 64 gig or even 128 gig card in this and your apps and games can install to that now. So you can actually really put a lot, a lot of stuff on this between your music and apps if you use that micro SD expansion. So thankfully we actually have that now. Uh, if you want to go into say settings, we can check out, you know, look at a couple of things there. You have your, there's your lock screen and you, you do have all your Windows Phone 8.1 stuff on board here, including your start theme and you have your different backgrounds. So you can do that now by choosing your photos and they give you a nice little selection here. Same selection as the 930, so nothing is different in that regard. Or you can not use those backgrounds if you want to. You can use your own photos or you can actually just uh, remove it all together and just use the familiar uh, color. And so this has also the new bright green color, which is pretty cool too. Going back to settings here, uh, not much is different from standard 8.1. You do have your cellular SIM, you do have VPN, once again, point, part of 8.1 update, battery saver, data sense. Uh, there is one thing, oh, you do have project my screen, so this does have Miracast support. If you want to you know, send it to your TV, if it supports Miracast, you can do that wirelessly, which is really nice. Uh, advertising ID, USB. So this is another 8.1 thing for Lumia Cyan that it enables. Uh, basically, here's some USB options, including ask before using USB data connection or notify me if I connect to a slower charger. You know, nothing huge, but pretty nice. Uh, let's see if I can find the navigation bar. So this is the one difference here on an 8.1 device with virtual keys here at the bottom. You get this navigation bar option and it basically has uh, always dark, matches my background. So if an app has a say white background, it'll change accordingly. Or you can have it match my accent color, which is pretty cool. So if you run do that, you'll see now when I go to the start screen, those keys sort of stick out a little bit more. I think it's kind of a strange look, but you know, I like the idea that users can have that choice. I think it's a good idea. Unfortunately, you still have this massive chin here on this phone, which actually has no use, right? Uh, I'm not really sure why that is. Here's the microphone but you don't basically have much room for it. You know, I don't know what else you can use that for. Going to the top here, you have your speaker and the Nokia logo. And like I said, nothing else for T-Mobile. Going back into settings though, and you basically have the rest of your stuff. You have motion data. So this does support sensor core. So this can sync up and count your steps, uh, which you can use with being health and fitness and a few other third-party apps that are out there now. Uh, for touch, you don't really have too much in the way of double tap to wake up or anything. You do have navigation bar. You can enable the vibrate feature for that. Uh, going into, you have your device hub, call an SMS filter. Here's your audio. Is there a graphic equalizer? There is not. You just have flip to silence. So once again, they are skipping some of the more premium features found in other Lumias, including the equalizer and Dolby stuff. So that's not here. Uh, going to display, you do have uh, two choices here for color profile. So you can set how you want that to look, including standard, vivid, cool, and advanced. Advanced basically gives you the sliders and you can adjust your color that way. So it basically allows you to uh, adjust the color profile to how you like it, which is kind of actually a nice feature. And then finally in a brightness profile, you have a low, medium, and high. And that's kind of funny because this device doesn't even have an ambient light sensor. That means in order to adjust the brightness, you have to go up into settings here and with this little quick key and you can adjust going like that. And so you can actually adjust how bright that is through that setting I was just showing you. Likewise, it's how you pull up the camera here, which is you just tap that camera button since there isn't a physical one. But you can make your, basically your high level not so high and you know make it low, make it really high and adjust all your levels accordingly. So it's actually kind of a nice little feature. Other than that though, pretty standard device. We're going to give it a little tour over here the next few days and put it through the work and see how we like it. Like I said, it's not too much different from the 630, but this does have LTE where available in those regions. And it should be a pretty good device. Is it better than the 521? I think it is, but obviously you're losing some things, including that camera button, ambient light sensor, and a few other little quirks. It doesn't even have uh, NFC either, no tap to send. So this is a pretty stripped down bare bones Windows phone. Having said that though, it have all the latest in terms of the operating system and firmware. So there you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care, everybody.